Whoa, Matthew Woods got a new microphone. He sounds so crispy and different. I saw a comment on one of my videos lately in which someone said, wow, I see this dude in his garage more than he is actually riding. And I just want to make a point. You guys realize I live in Ohio. Our riding season ended in like October. I haven't really been able to ride. We've had a few days where it's like been nice outside, but like, look at this. There's still snow on the ground, dude. It sucks out here, man. And that's not even the worst part. So, like, today is, like, 40 degrees, I want to say. And I, like, live on a main road, so I'm probably going to get some weird looks for this. But check this out. There is still a crap ton of salt on the roads. I mean, look at that white stuff. You can just see it chalked all over the road, which is lovely. That salt stuff is disgusting. Because here's something you may not know about motorcycles. Motorcycles are not undercoated. Meaning, all of these little engine bits are completely exposed from the factory. They're not, like, coated or covered with anything. So when you're out riding in that road salt, even though it may be a nice day out, and there's still, like, all that salt in the road, all that salt is accumulating on your engine. And what happens when you bring your bike home, and you leave it parked, and all that road salt is sitting there, the moisture from the air is being brought into the like onto that road salt and what that does is basically corrodes all of the little metal bits on your engine over time which is how you get like corrosion spots and rust spots and if you care a lot about your motorcycle it's gonna look really ugly and stupid and so on like a nice day like today where it's like 44 degrees fahrenheit out today you could ride i'm still not gonna ride personally because it's like you're risking corroding your bike prematurely which to be honest with you i care more about these things than i do my own life so it's like i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna just leave it here for now i'm gonna wait like another week for it to just go away so that's where i've been i'm just basically waiting for the weather to get a little bit nicer and for the salt to get off the road and then we can get back to making like regular motorcycle videos that are like up to date and like daily anyway so i appreciate your guys' patience i just moved to this new house so i'm still like getting used to some things but yeah anyway i'm just gonna let the rest of this video be from more riding clips from when we were actually riding so yeah enjoy <laughs> oh my god that's my mom oh yeah king julian's bike is loud <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck just said that? <laughs> That's, <it. laughs> That's hilarious. Killer Toyota, watch out. Uh, yes, I was wondering, uh, are you going to visit that person? <laughs> He's Rob, you want to take a ride on my drive rocket for me? <laughs> I just got it today. Keep it on. There you go. ABS. Please help me. I don't have it. That's the problem. That shit stopped. I said, all right, bless my soul. You didn't but get ABS? Didn't have... No. Why? They didn't have it. <laughs> they didn't have it. Right. They didn't have I would have waited. Don't fucking make it. <laughs> they didn't have it. I just needed it. <laughs> I needed it. They didn't have it. Goddamn truck. Ow. Hell yeah. Burned yeah, yeah. myself <laughs> on the exhaust. Oh. There he is. Yeah, he's probably been here for a while. <laughs> Figure it out. Damn. Big loop, big loop, big loop. Can't we even fucking wait down here? Huh? I just so wet back here. What the fuck? Hello. Can you I pissed my, I pissed my pants back here. <laughs> Whoa. No, oh, he's there, brother. You don't want to peel that tire off. Nah, it's just a lot of it's a it's transferring gasoline and the noise. It's not actually going anywhere. You'll spin that tire off right out of the rim. Not enough oh, force to spin the tire, bro. Trust me. The first gear it'll spin, and second. Not really. Yeah, it'll do. Don't oversell it, Ross. Trust me. Oh, yeah. Trust. Well, that's actually for sale if you want to spin the tires. <laughs> I have bikes with literally double the horsepower of this bike. Yeah, I, I think I'll be all right. I'm, I'm, oh, dude, they're right. going to crash, dude. Big... What triumph is that? That's a oh, big bitch. Big is that giant. a fucking V6 on that bitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hello? Hello. Oh, hi. oh you guys all look quiet. You went, so, you went so fast that the fucking Senate disconnected. Sound barrier just <laughs> fucking went crazy. Ah! Yeah, pay attention, close off. My bad. Hi. Hi. Yeah, you fucking thought, pussy. We uh, drive straight into Evan. Is there any particular destination where we're going, or we just. Uh, I back have. to Ross's house. Illyria somehow. Beans. Fucking Illyria. Oh, we're going to the ghetto, bro. bro. God damn, I didn't want to fucking die. Today. Evan's like, damn it, we're going out of this area? I just planned on riding for five minutes. <laughs> damn, I want to go home. I hate riding. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Jesus Christ, I got in that fucking groove on the road. It fucking I made hate. me wiggle. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta watch out for them grooves, brother. I Jesus. hate the pill. Ryan, I get that you like you just had a problem, but please don't scream like that again, because it makes me <laughs> concerned. I whip my head around. Where? I, I <laughs> almost had a problem. <laughs> That's why I made the noise. <laughs> yeah, there's almost a fucking incident. Broke his neck. I'm just saying, the last time I heard someone panic, I saw, I turned around and saw Pat's bike literally five feet in the air. Tom boy. <laughs> but I just did like this on involuntarily, and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, he, he was wearing a cardo, so we couldn't hear him. Right? Yeah. He, he was probably like, oh. Couldn't hear the catastrophe. <laughs> 
that was a fucking lie. Bro, instantly barrel rolled into the grass and then just started praying. Just your pet. Oh, what are you doing, <laughs> Step, bro? <laughs> what are you doing, Step, Mike? Get off of me. <laughs> Step, like, no. That's a great. I'm so happy we just invented this fucking concept. I win, I win, I win, I win. Fuck. You just stole it, you absolute LN. hear a lot of noise back there. Not a lot of. Hey, it ran with fucking uh, Kenny 600 today. He's <laughs> what? Him and Kenny were fucking around and they were, they were like damn near fucking even. Oh god. Well, Kenny oh, was in true. second gear, that's why. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. He was like in second gear going like 30 miles an hour. He was at like 4,000 RPM. No shit, he didn't take off. Get off now, bitch! I was in first gear, like he just had no chance. He should have been in first and like he... It would still be pretty even at, at the start, but he would at least take off. Yeah, I'd hope so. It's a fucking brother machine. The thing, well, the problem with this bike is when it stalls, it doesn't let you start it back up until it's in neutral, which is crazy. Like, even with the clutch in, it will not start in first gear. Yeah, I know. Well, that's why FZ I, was. I'm pretty sure it's because I fucked the sensor up. Like, it wasn't like that before. Oh. It is on my fault. <laughs> I think it's, is that red key emblem still on the dash? Yeah. Okay, I think that's why, because the handlebar has a uh, little... Yeah, I was probably going to throw the original bars on when I sold it, so... I have yet to see the fucking V4 out here. Yeah, same. When are you going to be breaking that bitch? When are you going to be breaking the V4 in? I have yet to... Eventually. Oh, my God. Preferably when there's no salt on the road. <laughs> Where are we going? I mean, I know we're going to Ross's, but, like... Straight, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> you don't right, know you're your <laughs> house, you just don't know. I turn now! No, no Brian today, where's he in? Too much, okay. too much salt in the road for him. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's probably, there's more by him than there is us up here, right? What? There's really not that much around here. Oh, there's quite a bit. You can see it on the road right here. Yeah, I was gonna say, on this road you can see it a little bit. You, Brian, you don't see all the salt, dude? You don't see it? <laughs> no, not really. He's trying to, he's putting it out of his mind, he doesn't want to pay attention to it. Try not to think about it too hard. Just, yeah, ag yeah, aggro. Alright, I'm gonna leave this. God damn it! Right. Right. Mesh intercom off. Alright, they're all yapping back there, but we basically, we made it home. Well, not my home, but my friend's home. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. It's a good out Tom. But it's like going for a ride with me. On a Harley. You guys want to say hi to the vlog before I end it? Hey. Oh.